Today we're going to have a look about how to throw, how to use, how to receive one of these. This is a throw bag. We use these pretty widely in white water um, for all applications, for rafting, for kayaking, for pack rafting. Basically you want to know your bag, so know how much rope you have in here, um, what size or, or thickness the rope is, um, and then how, how it works basically so that you know it's easy to use. When I throw a throw bag, um, in a simple way to throw a throw bag basically, is you want to have um, a couple of coils of rope in your hand so that you can have a little bit of rope to back you up basically so that you don't run out of rope. Um, when you throw the bag you want to keep a good handful. A bag like this with a nice long end on it is good to throw so you can get a good chuck. Yeah. So when we throw we can throw um, underarm, we can throw overarm, we can throw sideways, whatever works for you and this is why it's good to know your throw bag because they're quite heavy. And when throwing we want to throw to the person um, and it's real good to practice this. Um, obviously if you miss the person then you either have to throw what you have in your hand or recoil it very fast and throw the coil. Um, sometimes if the person is very close, say if you're on the river very close, you could throw this end. So I could throw that to you over your shoulder, right? Yeah, same deal. Um, so there's a few different ways. Um, also, it's very good if the person who's in the river knows what a throw bag is too, obviously. So your whole group needs to be trained. As the person in the river who has swum or fallen in or whatever happens, make yourself big. Yeah, the wider you are and the more noise you make, they're probably going to keep you. Eh? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Help me! Uh, and yeah. they should be looking for the rope. Okay? Eye yeah, eye contact and verbal if you can. So as me, the throw bagger, I would be yelling, swimmer, swimmer, rope! And making sure that I have eye contact with them before I throw the bag. So there's a rope in the river, and it might have been the best throw ever, but they haven't seen it, and it's gone behind them, and they're still like, ah! And as I see him, I've lost eyes, and I say, swimmer, swimmer, rope! Give him the rope, he rolls on his back and I start pulling him in, moving up the back. The receiver, like you just did, you're going to catch the rope. You want to grab it in two hands, like this. You're going to roll it over your shoulder and lie on your back so the rope pulls, okay? This way the water will hit you in the helmet and hopefully give you a bit of an air pocket to breathe. Depending on which way you're going, try putting it over a different shoulder and it will pull you to the river easier. So if it feels weird or it's not working, try putting it over the other shoulder. A quick way to pack. Um, you can clip through your beaner, some people do if you like. I just go over my shoulder, put my chin over it, and then two hands like a crab, crab, and your pincers. And then you're gonna feed into the bag just like this. You can get speedy, fast hands. <laughs>